In a previous video, I showed how you can use the michaelis menten equation to find out for your observations at certain substrates and certain velocities what the Michaelis constant is and what the max velocity is and also what the half max velocity would be. I did that on this video and I won't explain again how I did it but I used solver as a tool. A more direct way and a little bit more accurate and exact is a line weaver Berg plot. What you do, we, we use the same michaelis menten equation but after some manipulation. So what we do is we create the inverse version of the substrate concentration and the velocity. So by doing that which is 1 divided by the substrate and they are 1 divided by the velocity we get a linearized version that is what I plotted here this is what we got it, uh, it shows you exactly what you plotted here and it's a linearized version of course so what we really need to do in order to get that we have to put here a trend line a linearized trend line you can add that right from here. I'm just going to undo it. It saves me some work. And make sure that when you do that, that you have in here, format the trend line, that you make it linearized, and that you display the equation on the chart. For we are going to use this equation in order to calculate the, the Km and the V max. I also forecast it backward to get to the zero point here. But that's up to you. You don't have to do that. I did that so it looks more like this one. And here after some manipulation you can find out what the slope is of that linear trend line, what the intercept is, and of course there is also an intercept on the other axis. So how do you calculate that? We add a trend line with an equation, that's important to do, and, and forecast backwards if you like to do that. So the intercept is apparently this value. We, we find that here. You can also calculate that on your own if you know how to do that, but it's probably easier to do a trend line in Excel. So in order to calculate here now, we have to find out that that is basically, because we linearized everything, 1 divided by V max. So V max is actually 1 divided by the intercept. And that equals 1 divided by, if you want a half V max value, then you just divide that 140 by 2. And this is the half V max value. Then we do something similar for the slope. The slope is this value. And we see here, after some manipulation, solving equations basically, that is Km divided by V max. So we do there Km divided by V max. And we know what V max is. We found that here by solving that equation of the intercept. So Km is the slope times V max. We know what the slope is. We know what V max is. So we can calculate what Km is. And these two values are more accurate than the ones we did with solver. I compared them both here. And you can see they are a little bit off, but this one is the best one. But again, Solver is maybe a much easier tool if you don't know how to do all these solutions in between. 